Hello, I am Pastor Michael Bush, and I was invited to share the message for children and families for this week's worship. So I'm happy to do that with you. The only sad thing is I don't get to physically be with you, um, but I'm thankful for this opportunity. And the, the message that I'm sharing connects with the scripture reading that's for this Sunday. So on the worship page where you found this video, if you haven't already listened to the scripture, go ahead and do that, or you can just read it. It's John 20, uh, 19 through 31. So if you haven't read it or heard it, go ahead and pause this for a moment and go check that out because what I'm going to say makes more sense if you know the story that I'm talking about. So <clears throat> I know right now a lot of us are not in cars as much as we are used to, and there's probably pluses and minuses about that. If you got dragged around to lots of errands all the time and you didn't like it, then you're thinking, I'm glad not to be in the car so much. But also there's places that we really like to go and a lot of them are closed and we're trying to keep everyone safe. Um, and so we don't get to go on as many adventures and that part's hard, I recognize that. But I'm sure all of you have been in cars at different points and when you're traveling in the car, especially if you're going for a bit of a longer distance, what do you usually pay attention to while you're in the car? What are you usually doing? Go ahead and if you have a parent or grandparent or a friend or brother or sister around you right now, just talk to each other for just a moment. Say what do you usually pay attention to. So when you're not driving, you can pay attention to all kinds of things. Sometimes people are looking out the window, but a lot of times what you might be doing is you're reading something on a Kindle or a book or your iPad or you're watching a movie or playing a game or depending if you're old enough, maybe you're texting a friend or you're Snapchatting or something like that. And have you ever been doing that kind of thing and then someone else in the car says, oh my gosh, did you see that? And then by the time you look up, you're looking around like, what, what, what was it? And, and they're saying, oh, it was so cool. And you're like, but I didn't see it. And you're like, uh, whoever's driving, can you turn around so I can see it too? Have you ever had that kind of moment? It's a little bit frustrating. Well, I, I invite you to think about that because the disciple named Thomas has an experience a little bit like that. Thomas is one of the, the followers of Jesus, a disciple of Jesus. There were men and women who followed Jesus, who learned to to experience God, pay attention to God, to live God's love and hope and healing in the world. And Thomas was one of them. Well, as you know, and you heard about recently, there was the story where Jesus was killed. And then the story from last Sunday, where some of his disciples experienced that God has brought Jesus back to life in a new kind of way. And it's a story that wants to say how God's love is stronger even than death. And in the story today, some of Jesus' disciples are gathered together and they are praying and listening and sharing stories, the kind of things Jesus taught them to do. And while they're there, they experience Jesus with them. They feel Jesus with them in ways that we can't quite understand. They even see Jesus with them. And that helps them to know that God's love is so strong and that God's love and power is always with them. And they're excited and a little bit afraid because it's a new experience. And all that though is still really good, except for Thomas. Thomas missed it. He hadn't been there with everybody else. And so when he shows up later, they're telling him like, oh my gosh, we saw this thing. He's like, what, where? And, and, and he has doubts. He doesn't even trust his friends. And that's a hard thing sometimes. We miss out on something because we weren't paying attention. And unlike being in your car, where you don't have to pay attention to the road or look around because you're not driving, um, but, but Thomas was supposed to be paying attention to God and listening for God. And so he wasn't really on that particular day, so he missed out. And that's disappointing. However, and this is the really cool thing for me in the story, is that the story reminds us that Thomas gets another chance, just like we all get other chances that even though Thomas missed out the first time around, God wants Thomas to know how much God loves him and all people, how strong God's love and life are, 
And so the next time when Thomas pays attention to what he's supposed to pay attention to as a student of Jesus, a disciple of Jesus, he's praying with everyone, he's talking with everyone, instead of missing out, he's there and he's present. Well, that time he also experiences Jesus alive. He knows that God is with him and loves him. And so that for me is a reminder to all of us too, that especially I think sometimes when things are hard, when we're not in our normal routines, I mean, so many of us were stuck at home and, and people who aren't normally teachers are trying to teach us and also help us to have times of fun. And then our parents and grandparents, they're probably nervous and maybe sometimes less patient. And this is a pretty hard time that we're in. And so it's easy to pay attention to well, all kinds of other things to try to forget that it's hard. But we're reminded that when we pay attention like the disciples do to God, when we pray or when we talk about how we're really feeling and we share that with other people that we trust, that we can experience God's love with us. That even if we missed out yesterday, we can still experience God's love and power and life today. And when we know that in our hearts and in our minds, then it helps us to be more loving and caring and in the hard times, it's especially helpful when we are more loving and caring. It makes the world a better place. And so you can be part of that. And I'm praying that I can be part of that. So I hope that we can be part of that together. Thanks for listening. And I hope to someday see us all in person soon. Love to you all. Bye-bye.